hello again and welcome back to my channel today's video is going over the caveco collection iridescent pearl and let you know how i felt about it right off the bat the packaging is really cool i love how they mimicked the look of the pen in the packaging and it has like that holographic look and it's just really simple but still really fun it also makes me think of like a bubble and right out of the package i am loving this pen i think it is just so unique and different and cute, but still reminiscent of like past Caveco pens. Like it makes me think of the art sports. It also makes me think of the frosted collection. And at first I thought it would be more similar to those. Here I have my frosted coconut and I also have just the white Caveco here. I just wanted you to see the differences between the three. And so you can see how much the pearl stands out it does have quite a sheen to it and it's just beautiful. I know it is another like semi-transparent pen like the frosted but it still has its own unique kind of twist to it and then here it is next to the rose quartz and the mint color because I feel like pinks, purples, blues are kind of pulled from this pearl finish and it made me want to just see all of these colors kind of near it so here I have my periwinkle and my lagoon blue added to the bunch just so you can see it's just a mermaid themed color palette i did purchase this with a medium size nib like i typically do i just favor a medium size nib however i did end up switching it to a broad nib because I had filled it with Ferris Wheel Press Mulberry or Madame Mulberry, which is a beautiful color. But for some reason, I don't think, I just, I wasn't a huge fan with how the ink was looking with the medium size nib, which is why I changed it to a broad in hopes of having a more, I guess, juicy nib for this ink. This was also a terrible swatch. I was too lazy to go and find Q-tips. It is a beautiful colored ink. I was even tempted to fill my rose gold with it, but I had decided to fill it in my pearl. And it's beautiful. It's like this pale purple with like some maroon darker tones, but like a gray purple is what I, I thought it would be. And I thought it would look really nice with this pen and it does. This is just a personal preference. I felt it was too light and I don't know if you've if you've been a viewer of my channel you know i don't always like how light inks look um, unless there's a lot of shading which this ink does have shading i just don't think this nib is showing it off as nicely as it could and for a bit there when i switched it to the broad nib it actually i had originally switched it with another medium nib that i had in a different pen and for a bit there it was doing the shading that i wanted it to, it to do and then it just stopped, so I don't know why. <laughs> so now here I am, a couple days later, and I have decided to fill it with Sailor 162, which was actually my first choice. And I know there are several other Sailor inks that others have used to fill this pen with, and I think all of them are such great combos. I love seeing the different ones that everybody has been using. Yoseka, put in one and I'm blanking on the ink, but it was a perfect match. I think it even has like a sheen to it, but I love seeing what other people are using. But this was definitely the first one that came to mind when I was thinking of different colored inks to put in this pen. And I'm happy with this ink because it just has like such great undertones, which is that purple pink look to it, but it's also still green, which again, you know how much I love a green ink. And this is like a more like a minty kind of green, but I did want to say that I think when I was filling it up, ink got inside the feed or the grip section and I'm not sure if I can take it out. So I'm a little bummed, but you know, that's okay. Still a beautiful pen. I'm so happy with it. And I'd love to know what ink color combos you're filling your pearls with, or just your favorite combos and pens. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time.